Hi guys, it's Sandy, and I found this sketchbook as well. After last week's, I thought I'd do this one too. And it's got a bunch of pencil doodles for some lettering ideas, and some of them have more journaling picture ideas. This is a real simple one to use the globe and wrap the globe with the text to indicate among the nations. I didn't even I didn't even put the continents on there. It was just a simple circle, but you get the idea. My God will meet all your needs with the arrow going straight to the heart of what our needs are. The Lord has been good to you. Sometimes just a really simple small message is more than adequate. In every situation, present your request to God. I remember looking up what those signs look like where, it, you know, it's the defib defibrillators, if I can even say that word right, defibrillators hanging on the wall. And I looked up to see what they look like and they have an arrow and these lightning things. So if you're in need of something, guess who's there to give you help? Nothing can separate us from the love of God, and there's nothing in the circle. So pointing to an empty something. So if you draw an empty cup, an empty circle, an empty box, uh, that's good to indicate the nothingness that can separate us from him. And until the end of the age made me think of doing, I think, this scroll. And you can put any kind of a verse in a scroll like that. And by the way, feel free to screenshot any of these if you need to use them in your Bible. If you see some imagery that's helpful or text that's helpful. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord. And just emphasizing in script the words that were important to me as I was praying about that verse. The Lord bless you and keep you. I journaled that verse just recently here on YouTube with a big sunshine. With God, all things are possible. And celebrating that with lots of confetti. Let us love with actions and in truth. And really emphasizing the love, not only with the heart, but with all the little, little drops coming off of it. And here I chose the three words, the three action words, um, being joyful, being patient, being faithful, as the ones to emphasize in the verse with banners. Always strive to do what is good. Again, those little drops. I was, I was into bursts at the time that I did this Bible challenge to do this lettering. Give strength to the weary and increases the power of the week. Getting a sketchbook that you can do these kinds of things in is a really great way to start working on your lettering and your ideas so that when you go to do your Bible journaling, you may have something to pull from. So if God is for us, who, question mark, who, who, who can be against us? This needs like a who let the dogs out theme song to go behind it. <laughs> Commit to the Lord whatever you do. You could put color behind a particular word if you want that word to be emphasized. If you've taken the typography class, it is quite possible you've seen some of these because I've pulled from a lot of these ideas over time uh, for that class. So it's typography for Bible journalers. Link in the doobly-doo. This one is just very simply practicing lettering. Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Some got fancier, some got less fancy. And more of those little lines. Do it all for the glory of God. While we were sinners, Christ died for us. Putting that into the cross. And I think this one, may, a version of this may have been on my channel where I just took my thumb and made the cross. Um, and that goes well with Ash Wednesday. But of course you can use it in any other way as well. 
Those who sow with tears will reap with songs of joy. And that, that beautiful strand of wheat as the reaping. The message of Christ dwell among you richly. Again, the message of Christ being the ones in script. You could also do them in a separate color to emphasize them. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, so we get to cross out the condemnation because we believe in him. And it is by grace you have been saved, just grace and saved are larger and in a different font. I guess it's, well, maybe it's the same font, but. The Lord will fight for you. I was playing around with what those curves could be, if I could make the top curve and the bottom curve match with the little words around them. Make every effort to live in peace, emphasizing the in peace portion. And great is your faithfulness. That needs to be like big because his faithfulness is so great. And here's a sweet idea that never made it into my Bible either. Putting a lock on the heart, guarding your heart for everything you do flows from it. And then seeking would be the script with the words paired with it in a regular written font. Using you know, a, a handwritten type script along with another. And I, I talk about matching scripts and having several scripts in a Bible verse in the typography class. Clearly this was something that led up to developing that class. And here I have just some very straight up lettering with two parts of the conversation, of course, in it, separated with the three dots. I think this is the end. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord with just some nice, you know, practice at handwriting, trying to make my handwriting into something that I like because I'm not a big fan of my handwriting. But that's a lot of what the typography class will hopefully get you to understand that your handwriting is a gift from God. And if we don't like it, then tough, because that's what he gave us. So we should use it. So that is the second sketchbook. I don't know if I have more of them. If I do, I'll share them. But oops, it's old enough. It's falling apart here. If you saw anything in here that we need a YouTube, a YouTube video on, let me know in the comments. And I will see you again next week. Take care, guys. Bye.